Being an action taker has brought me here. Here being in a cute cafe in South Korea on a Wednesday at 1 p.m. As a matter of fact, it's what's behind all of the good aspects of my life, while inaction has only led me to moments of feeling low. So let's spend a week together and learn how to get comfortable with action taking again. Oh, and we're going apartment hunting, going book shopping, and much, much more, so stick around. I just filmed a little um, get dressed with me using this dress and the vest that I got last week from Damson Matter. I'm feeling really cute and you might ask, what are we doing today? Girls, we're just going to cafes and going to bookstores, of course. It's the best occasion to dress up for. Let's head out. <laughs> I've always defined myself as an action taker. I've applied to jobs that I was highly underqualified for. I dropped everything and moved abroad with no plan of how to earn money, and I moved in with a man I literally only knew for six months. It might sound quite reckless, but it's always kind of worked out for me in the end. At the end of the day, luck and opportunities can only really find you if you reach out first. I don't believe in the affirmation, I don't chase, I attract. Nah, -uh. I believe in I chase and therefore I attract. However, for the past couple of years, my life has stabilized a lot and it was exactly what I needed to enter a different chapter of my life. Last year, I dreamt a lot. I dreamt about the future, about businesses I could start, about family and house and wealth and love. It was a very airy energy, so to say. But this year, I feel so drawn to have more of a fiery energy with me. Action is calling to me again and it feels so energizing. But we're starting slow and the first rule of action taking is to start with the little things that you've been putting off. in Gwangamun. I've already went to the one in Gangnam and it's kind of underwhelming to be honest. It was the biggest section that I've ever seen in Korea so far, but someone on Instagram told me to come here instead, which is the Gwangamun Cham. I have never seen that big of a English book selection before in Korea. And it was like actually like good newer books. It's not like I needed more books to be honest especially not fantasy. I have so many fantasy books that I have on my TBR list that I feel like I'll first be coming to in like, I don't know, a long time. All of the other kyokos that I went to, they were just really... The English sessions was very old. And mind you, I have not been in this book business for a long time, but I can... Do you want me to cut it out? <laughs> Jake is blessing us with farts tonight. How lucky we are. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh, they had lots of fiction books that are spicy, I saw. Not any that I was interested in because like athletes and cowboys, it just, I couldn't care less to be honest. I want 500 year age gap, immortal fame in. <laughs> Uh, something wrong with me. Anyways, um, these were the two books that I ended up getting. First, we have Divine Rivals. It's just been on my like Goodreads TBR for a long time. And then I got the Atlas Six. This is such a like dark academia fantasy book with a bit of romance in it as well. So I'm excited to get to this eventually in a very long time. Stupid like do you also like faith men? <laughs> Time to 
잘 먹겠습니다. It's been three days that I have actually made a conscious effort to cook. Can you believe it? It's so embarrassing to admit, but I have been ordering food for every single meal of the day for the past many months. <laughs> thing that scares me about that is because like I want to be pregnant, I want to have a kid. I want to cook delicious food that I know exactly what goes into for my kids. And I'm like, damn, I'm not even doing that for myself. So my goal is to find lots of these like recipes that are really easy and quick to whip together. That is actually one of the things that I've been putting off. I've been mentioning to Jake for a while that I really want to sign up for a cooking class here in Seoul and specifically cooking class in Korean, so that you learn how to cook in Korean. I really want to do that. First, I thought I wanted to do it in English, because to be honest, I'm scared. Like, it's really out of my comfort zone to do it in Korean, but I thought I will never, you know, learn Korean to the extent that I really want to learn Korean if I don't push myself out into these situations. So that's something I have been putting off, and I really want to find a class. I told my mom a couple of weeks ago that I had cleaned my office and I cleaned my desk. And she was like, wow, that's amazing, honey. <laughs> but it's nothing new, you always clean your stuff. And I said, yeah, that's right, like, but Jake's desk still looks like an absolute mess. He has papers everywhere. And I told her I was about to clean his as well. And she was like, Cecil, maybe this is a test for you. Maybe this is a test for you to let go of always wanting to have control and to always want it to be perfect. This is a good lesson to learn also in your journey to wanting to become pregnant. And my mom is right. It's been a couple of weeks. I've been putting off cleaning my own desk again. I had to do that today. I don't think I can leave Jake's desks alone anymore. I know my mom, she's a very smart woman, but I'm not a perfect person. I'm definitely going to clean Jake's desk. <laughs> so I think today I want to head out to Muji to see if I can get some paper organization for his desk and just go into some cafes. I found a couple of options for the cooking class. I think I might be taking it with Stephanie actually. I'm in Mangwondong. There's like a cafe that I have been eyeing on my Instagram. It's right behind me here. So I kind of want to sit there, have a cup of coffee and potentially sign up for the class. The old Cecil who doesn't take any actions, she's not here anymore. <laughs> the room with books. <laughs> Notebook, calendar. I wanted to study a little bit, like a couple of different remedies for pregnancy with the Ayurveda. So I brought this and of course this one. She specializes in like chai lattes and she's actually like sitting and boiling it all here right now and it smells so good in here. I'm very curious how this is gonna taste. Oh my god, that is so good. I feel like this is gonna be one of my new favorite places. She has both ginger, I got the cardamom one and she has decaffeine, a couple of different things. Delicious. was hands down one of the best cafe experiences that I've had in I think all of my time in Korea to be honest. Did you know there are a lot of really good cafes here and there are a lot of really really sweet people. This was next level. This was so nice. I came in actually feeling a little bit like just not the best. I had a little bit of a headache. I just to be honest I was a little bit cranky but there was some really really sweet women in there and the owner of the place was so sweet and just so talented at making the chai. I'm just feeling fantastic. Like I love how this 
happiness, it just rubs off, you know? People are nice to you, your surroundings are nice and beautiful, and you'll automatically just feel so much better. I feel great now. And that made me think about, if you have like an excess amount of energy, if you have a surplus of good feelings in your body right now, smile to someone, compliment them, carry yourself in that energy. You know, there is a clear difference in how you carry yourself and it just, it pays it forward, I swear, it really does. I'm gonna be more conscious about that from now on, even now that I have this energy now, because I got it from that environment and from these people there, I'm going to carry that with me to the next cafe. <laughs> Paid forward. <laughs> Are we just smaller versions of a bigger home? Are you the rivers in your veins and mine? The flakes that become snow. And you might believe that everything is broken. Fragments of senses. Let's do this. I understand that taking action is scary for most of us, if not all of us. There are many things to learn when it comes to building this skill, but the first of them all is to identify what it is that holds you back from doing what it is you want to do. Is it a fear of failure, disappointing people around you, disappointing yourself, or is it not being able to finish what you started? Understanding your fears is the first step to overcoming them. Then we gotta challenge our negative thoughts. Challenge them by asking yourself if they're based on facts or assumptions. I've said this before, but you gotta start focusing on the process instead of the outcome. Shift your focus from the end result to the process of taking action. Instead of worrying about whether you'll succeed or fail, focus on the effort and learning experience that comes from taking action. Embrace the journey and the growth that comes with it. It's okay, whatever the outcome is, you've learned so much. By making sure you've covered negative outcomes and have an idea of what to do if they were to happen, you can allow yourself to let go of that worry. For example, when I moved to Korea and I didn't know how to earn money, I told myself, it's okay, I will always make sure that I have the amount of money for a flight ticket home just in case I wouldn't make it. Then it suddenly wasn't so scary anymore. Ultimately, the key to overcoming fear is to take action despite being afraid. Accept that fear is a natural part of the process and choose to move forward anyway. Each small step you take will help to build courage and confidence over time. Yesterday, uh, right after being in Muji, I went straight to probably, I would say, something that would be a dream apartment for us. It was so beautiful. We've looked at apartments in that area before in Seoul, it was Pangbedong. And to be honest, like, the area is so nice and beautiful and very obviously very expensive. And all of the houses that we saw were just between seven million and 10 million a month in monthly payments and we cannot justify that it's just way too expensive and the one that we saw yesterday was seven and it had both a terrace and four rooms and it was just so beautiful i want to show you here in a moment but i think we've just come to the conclusion after looking at all of these apartments that we can't justify to splurge a ton of money on house it's just we don't feel comfortable with it because within a couple of years it is our goal to buy something potentially a proper house and so i think we agreed today that we want to go and look at apartments that are a bit cheaper and then not as big properly but let me show you the apartments while i'm sitting here and drinking my tea it was i've never seen something that beautiful before 
I'm filming this with my phone and I decided not to film it with that zoom out 0.5 effect just so that I get the accurate representation of how big this house is. Um, it's not ginormous, it's a very decent size. We go into the first room here and all of the walls are white, which you can see, and they're built in real wood like panels and cabinets. Honestly, just going into this house, all of the materials used were so high quality, really nice. Real wood floors, real wood doors. That might not sound like a crazy thing to you, but it is a crazy thing in Korea. They always use fake like plastic or linoleum. Um, and here we are going into the main living room. As you can see there under the windows, it's actually stone. It's kind of made in an old Hanuk vibe, like a madang, the outside area of a Hanuk, which is just really cute and gorgeous, to be honest. Um, there's two bathrooms, four rooms in it. And uh, let me tell you, like this is actually considered extremely cheap for this kind of house in Korea. You probably won't believe me when I say that. The deposit is quote unquote only Il ok, one ok in Korean, one, and that's $75,000. <laughs> that's the depositum. So you put this in, but you get the money back again when you move out. Usually people take a loan for this in the bank um, if they don't have it. But I would say people who go for this kind of house most likely will have that to put down in cash. And then the rent is 7 million won per month. And that is actually very cheap for this kind of house. 7 million won is around $5,200. Per month us dollars um and i can show you here why i think this is such a catch like look at this terrace guys <laughs> i'm so in love it literally wrapped around two sides of the house so beautiful not a lot of space but still like you have goddamn trees on your property <sighs> I, I think I could cry looking at this. The design was so beautifully done. And again, look at this floor. I'm so obsessed. Um, in this area, this kind of house, I would say it's very underpriced. This lamp was, however, the thing that I was most happy about. It came with the house and it's a real Louis Paulson lamp. It's a real pH lamp. I checked it. I don't know. It's crazy. They have great style, the people who decorated this house. <laughs> 10 minutes after I filmed that clip that you just saw, Jake found another apartment online and that apartment is in the apartment complexes that we live in now. Like literally the same buildings. I think we found the one, guys. I, I seriously think we found the one. It's not 100% set yet. Oh, let me give you a backstory. We want to move because we feel like we need a bigger space. There is no built-in storage in our current house, basically none, meaning that we have to sacrifice a whole room for a clothing room. Our first thought was we need four rooms. The more that we think about it, as I said before, the more that we realize it's just too expensive and we don't, like, we can't really justify paying that amount of money. So then we now have started to become open to three room apartments that are just still bigger than what we have now because there's a lot of those. I was cleaning the house and I found this thing that we haven't used from the kitchen so Jake wanted to upload it on like an app called Tangen Market, like Carrot Market, something like that. It's basically kind of like a Facebook marketplace where you upload stuff and then people in your area can come and either buy it or take it for free or whatever they want to do. So we uploaded something there and then Jay was like, wait, hold on, there's apartments on here and cars and all of that kind of thing. So he was just laying and scrolling and he found an apartment in our apartment complex, which we are in love with the area that we live in. It's not an area that's very well known. It's not an area that's very popular. It's more like newlywed popular area. We love our apartment complex. The outdoor space around it is just so beautiful. The gym is literally in the building here. There is a kindergarten in our building. There's like everything that you need here, a supermarket. So living here has made us so happy and it's the first place in Seoul where both Jake and I, we just feel so at home. So actually looking at apartments in other areas is kind of sad to us, but we kind of knew that we probably should move. If we want something bigger, it would be expensive. But this place, guys, 
they had renovated the house so it doesn't look like the same apartment complex in a sense, which a lot of apartments, they are like copy-paste versions of each other. So this one had a lot of unique points that was really beautiful. And I'm telling you, the view is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. I, I, I did not know something like that existed in Korea in an apartment. We literally just came back from being in their house and they were so sweet and they offered us coffee and we were just sitting in the living room and asking them questions, talking about the house and the like the wife who lives there, she's really like a fan of interior and such as well. So she just did everything really nicely and the lighting and such. It's so pretty guys. We called our landlord and we said, hey, can we start trying to get out of the contract? And he said, yes. So now I think we're doing this guys. You have no idea how happy it would make me to not have to move to a different area. I just really love this place. I really love this place. <laughs> the first thing I did was just calling Stephanie and freaking out and send her the photos and such. I don't want to show you the photos because I don't want to jinx it for myself. So let's just wait and see. Yeah, I'm gonna keep reading my queen of shadows I'm almost halfway loving it i love this book so much <sighs> if i can concentrate let's see oh. 